dihybrid cross practice. Okay, let's say for example you have plants in plants yellow is capital D and purple is recessive small d, smooth is capital T and wrinkle is small t. So let's make a cross. Um, let's cross a homozygous dominant for color and heterozygous for texture with a purple wrinkle plant. So let's take a look. Homozygous dominant for color. So what would color have to be if it's homozygous dominant? It's going to be 2 capital D. Then a heterozygous for texture. This is texture. What would you get for a heterozygous? You would get a capital and a small letter. And you want to cross it with a purple wrinkle plant. This one doesn't say homozygous or heterozygous. It's okay. Don't worry about it because purple and wrinkle are both recessive. So there you have it. Okay, so the first parent is the purple wrinkle. And you cross it with this one. So what is the allele for this one? It's pretty easy because the only choice you have is small d and small t. So you fill that up. Over here, you have a big D and big T, followed by big D and small t, and then big D here with this big T, and finally this big D and a small t. Okay, you cross it. This is the easy part. Just make sure you follow with your ruler. Don't mess up which one. So here you have big D, small d, big T, small t. And then it looks like they're all the same, and you just repeat that. Over here is big D, small d, and two small t. Okay, let's finish it up. Okay, so you notice this row is the same as this row, and this row is the same as this row. So there is 8 out of 16, and 8 out of 16. So the genotypes are one half of or 8 out of 16 reduced to 1 half is big D, small d, big T, small t, or heterozygous for both. And the other half is big D, small d, and 2 small t, which is also 8 out of 16, so you can reduce it down to 1 half. So that's equivalent to 50-50. Alright, and then there's also a genotypic ratio. The genotypic ratio is 1 to 1. Now for the phenotype, one half of them is going to be yellow smooth and the other half are going to be yellow wrinkle. And the phenotype ratio is 1 to 1. Okay, let's do the same thing again, this time with a different cross. We want to cross two plants that are heterozygous for both traits. So heterozygous and going to cross with the same one. So first we're going to figure out the allele for each of these big D and big T, big D and small t. And then small d, big T, small d, small t. And since the other parents are the same, so we can put the same allele. And then we solve for it working one at a time. And this is what we get. Okay, so 1, 16 of them are big D, big D, big T, big T. So 1 out of 16, you'll get this genotype. And then 2 out of 16, you will get this genotype. So this one here and here. And so on and so forth. Now notice big D, small d, big T, small t is 1 fourth. So big D, small d, big T, small t. Okay, there is four of them. Here's one, there's two... There's 3, and that's 4. So the 4 of them is right here. 4 out of 16, you can reduce it down to 1 fourth. Okay, so same one again. Genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus another 4, because this is actually, if you reduce it, it would be 1 fourth, but naturally the original is 4 over 16. So 9 of them, phenotypically, are yellow smooth. And these are the genotype. And then there's 3 of them that are yellow wrinkle. So you have this one and this one. So 2 here and 1 here. A total of 3. 
Then you have three that are purple smooth and one that is purple wrinkle. So this one is the same as the Mendel one that we just did before. These are the genotype and these are the phenotype. The phenotype is 9331 which is most common when you cross two heterozygous for a dihybrid cross. Keep that in mind because you'll see this very often and it's most likely it's the most common word problem that your teacher will give you. Alligator. Poor alligator. So what kind of brands do you wear?